so just natural don't need to do it fast just nice and steady away if it feels comfortable then usually it feels right uh, let's go here I mean I can go for this funky thing getting a pawn but they're not doing it just yet okay right let's see what we can do then shall we move the king might as well we know that's what they're looking to do they could still do it just to improve their queen's position and then if the queen comes here the bishop's got this but I don't think it's anything too major I bet you any money that's what they're thinking of doing still but it doesn't have the same impact because we get the queen off the board and then we would probably end up taking the bishop off the board so they need to stop thinking about it now you can, you can tell that's what they're thinking just take that pawn we get the queen but obviously now that we've moved the king out of the way it seems to have really messed up their whole thought process <laughs> smallest of details it's not winning anything but it's um to me it's like a little bit of a bonus point in terms of messing up their thought process they were moving so quick weren't they and now they've stopped and they're still thinking about doing it got a pawn here so they'll probably just relax and just bring the rook here and give me something to think about and they've changed so the queen's come off now so it doesn't want the exchange type situation going on well, they took a while but they brought the queen attacking the pawn so we're going to bring we don't have to move that just yet we can actually develop a piece and support with the knight okay so the bats are moving quickly again bishops in front of the queen so we're looking to see what can this bishop do can't attack there just yet can't attack there just yet Let's get it attacking this pawn. Fisher Spassky though, just remember. So if we do take, he can drop the pawn. But he's attacking our queen, looking for some type of attack on our queen of sorts. Could bring the queen all the way here. Is there any horizontals? Don't really want to move away from my queen, king. So we can bring it here looks more menacing doesn't it it's just that we're not really attacking anything mm, I'm gonna bring it here anyway give my king some company the win some tempos And they've slowed down again, so they're constantly looking at little tactical manoeuvres. So every move is um, meaning something. Attacking the knight wants to disrupt our pawn structure. And also he's going to have this pawn as well. Bishop doesn't have any protection on it, so the queen could actually take the um, bishop. Does the bishop have a check on our king? No, it doesn't. Does it have a check here? No, it doesn't. So we can take the bishop because it's got no protection. So that's a bit fortunate. Although when you see those sort of positions, you think all the pieces are protected. You know, it's um, you can miss those types of things. usually in a cluster of pieces you think that pawns are supporting you know pieces etc 
you look a bit closer sometimes the pawns aren't actually supporting the pieces and it can be you as a player who moves a piece thinking that you're actually supported by your pawn but you probably put the piece behind the pawn when you're really in the game and you're tunnel visioned these things can happen so I've got this but it's not going to do much so we need to probably bring the queen back again I don't know why I'm so interested in this position or we could attack their queen so if we attack their queen here they can just drop the pawn and if they drop the pawn we come just running back here again why I don't know um, or we could just drop down looking for this type of thing let's give it a shot okay attacking the Queen they come down we go here then they just double whammy blocking the Bishop or something just trying to give them things to think about trying to improve my position I don't need to rush too much with the Knight don't really like my, like my Knight's position other than the fact it's helping support here and thankfully we've got rid of the Dark Square Bishop <sighs> they've actually captured but they've put a lot of thought into that so are they winning something back we're actually on the rook but you think the pawn was just going to drop then we can come here and attack this pawn again giving them something to think about so just bring the bishop here we're always planning of bringing the rook here to attack the rook so I think they'll end up doubling the rooks anyway, so they'll be owning the file more than we are. We've got to worry about this because if they, it kicks off, this pawn's going to end up disappearing. Unless, of course, we fish a spasky it somehow. But I think the king's too far over the other side of the board. We won't get away with that because it's going to jump down here. Forward thinking. So down, across, across, take, takes, push, I feel like I'm giving him the one upmanship there, but never matter. Oh, what's this? Attacking the rook. All right, so it gives us a bit of a right reason to do the movements. Okay, let's attack the rook. So it's kind of in reverse order. I've got to remember to push this when it all. He's not done the ownership, you see, so we're kind of owning this file, which is giving us back the one upmanship as far as I'm concerned. It's giving us time to push onto the bishop as well. Or move the pawn out of the way. So it's attacking the pawn. We can take the pawn. We can take this pawn. But he's got a two on one. We don't really want him advancing. So if we do take, what's his rook planning on doing? It's not going to come here because the knight will take. So there's not much going down here, so I'm just going to simply take. So it's feeling like positionally we're not too bad. They're probably thinking, oh, he's got his king jammed in the back so somehow there must be some back rank mate 
But I think it's going to take a lot of work to get all my pieces out of the way for him to get a back rank mate. So maybe just drops protecting the pawn. Do we hit and stay on the white square or do we just move the pawn? Oh, they've resigned. Excellent. Let's get this bishop out. Let's open up the dark square bishop. Let's x-ray through to the king. Let's develop the knight maybe. This way. Potential for attacking this pawn. Okay, let's take with a check on the king. Defending this pawn here. Pawn can't push onto the knight just yet. So I think we'll go and castle. Space for attacking the queen. Space again for attacking the pawn. Let's come back to protect the queen area. Let's attack the pawn. Space again for attacking the queen, doubly protected. Let's attack the queen. It's a higher piece, so 
If they do take, we can take the queen off the board. Take the knight, disrupting their pawn structure, attacking the queen. Let's bring the bishop back, giving our king some company. I'm just going to say this pawn has no protection on, so the queen could come and uh, harass it a bit. So it's looking to open up the area. I think we can take. Could bring the rook here. Start leaning on this pawn. Take first. Let's take first. Bring the rook across. Got two on there at the moment, so he's going back protecting. So we're giving them something something to think about. Let's attack the knight, see if we get get the queen off the board. Let's take the queen. Nice attack in this pawn, so they're going to be owning the file with the rook for a brief moment. Let's attack the knight, then maybe brave and jump in here. We still have a two on one. Yeah, so the, we can x ray through to their rook, we can take the pawn. not interested in that yet so now he's um, safe on that side for now for a brief moment so we can push the pawn just gonna say I think he'll just jump here anyway so we don't have to take the rook we can just come and attack the knight he goes back again or goes up here So we don't have any support, he's going to be owning the file with the rook. So I'm going to attack the knight. Okay, so he does go up, so we can now attack his rook. It's got our pawn, so do we want to let the pawn go? Shall we push the pawn up? It does have a fork. So he's probably going to come here, so his rook is owning the file. So we're losing the ownership of the file with the rooks on each maneuver. So if we attack the knight, then the knight takes, but this then we can take with the bishop. So he's still owning the file with the rook. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Didn't even bother thinking about going for this pawn. Interesting. So does that give us a moment to or not because he's on this pawn? So a small piece attacking. Let's just hit the knight. Does take the sting away from this diagonal. So now our bishop's going to be taken off the board. Going to hit the rook. Some strange reason. I don't think they're going to, but they can't go here because our pawn's there. So yes, we briefly owning the file with the rook. We've been getting bent out of shape over trying to own the file with the rook. And take here, obviously, because this pawn can't take because it's got the x-ray through. So it is really quite key in getting some type of ownership with the rooks on the files. It's not saying you're winning anything, but it does have a better feel. So we take his bishop takes, going to be on the pawn, push it onto a dark square. Uh, let's just take it. Let's just push. 
So the problem we've got is we can't go there because they'll just x-ray straight through. So we're going to have to move the king onto the dark squares. So that we're supporting the rook. All right, so he's blocked off, protecting the pawn on the far side. And get the king, like we said, supporting the rook. So I think the angle will be to go here, to come here, to attack the pawn. Or free up some space around it. That same spot, exact maneuver that we're going for. So we could move the king, but he then comes back and attacks, gets the rook off the board. So we could bait that process. Knight could come here. So we said he's going here. So if we go here with the king, kind of trying to circumvent that, then we're expecting them to come here. Look to get the rooks off the board, maybe. Do you know, I didn't even spot that. <laughs> didn't even spot that. Okay, so we could come here, but he's kind of congesting us in a bit. Don't want to come here because he's obviously bishop's got a check on us. And if we go in here, it's uh, there. It takes up. Bishop does have a check, gets the pawn. But if he does that, we take the rook off the board. So go there, then he comes round and gets that pawn anyway. And we wanted to try and avoid that, and somehow they've managed to get it anyway. Oh. If we go here, we get a back ranker. If he keeps going for the pawn. Tumbleweed moment. Do they continue? Although they're taking a long time now, so I think a pawn is going to be moved. So we, we can't save this pawn, I don't know, we can't. So going here, the bishop's just blocking. So it's going to have to be a knight move of some sort. So what is this? So he's not actually gone for the. So we could go for a trade. Is he going to be interested? Tempo wise, you well, he could always just go back, wouldn't he? Oh, that's not good, dude. Oh, the bishop can protect. There, I'm feeling so confident that I've got a back ranker. Now he's got my pawn here, but not for long because we'll just go here and bring the king down. Oh, we don't even need to bring the king down. We can just bring the rook down and attack his rook. His rook goes up and down. Bring the king down. He just goes back up again. Let's just attack the rook. Let's hit the rook. Bishop probably coming back down again, but we can still take the rook off the board. It's looking for a passer. Now, is that going to help his case? So we take, and maybe the bishop just takes and just hangs on there, but you'd think that they'll probably take here. King comes down. Yeah, I think they're probably going to take with the bishop. Shall we just take it? Wanting to pass, bring the king. 
brings the bishop so the king can get into the game. He's actually going for it. Let's go here. Get the knight. Something like this. So if the bishop does come... Oh, okay, it's not doing that. It's making space for the king. The thing is, if we move the knight now, then... Move the knight. Move the knight. Attacking the pawn. Maybe he takes. Then we take. We're on the bishop. King comes down. Oh, look at that though. King comes down. If we're on the bishop, we just take the bishop off the board, don't we? Here, takes, there, maybe the bishop moves to protect, but then we can still take the bishop off the board. Let's give this a try. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe that goes and we lose out somewhere. Let's attack the bishop. So the knight can't move anywhere apart from moving here to come here, like we said. So let's go here. It's attacking the pawn, it's on a white square. Let's go here. Let's try and get this knight here, then he pushes. Very clever player this is, isn't there? Okay. Let's attack the bishop and the pawn. We don't want to be going too far up because we're going to be too far behind. Oh, lordy da. So what we wanted to do was do this type of thing, have a two on one. Putting pressure on the pawn. It's always coming for this one, so we can push this pawn, I think, yep. Yep, don't think there's any worries there, I don't think. It's just doing things to be a bit annoying now. We should be okay, this king's way over there. And they left the game, but they've not left the game, because the time is still on there, but uh, the computer looks like the system is... Um, signed them off I think I clicked this by accident because um, we're not really wanting to do short games we're playing a long game let's just bring the bishop here support the pawn x-ray through to the queen and castle shall we no, actually, I'm just going to bring the bishop here. And they're going to come for the bishop anyway. I'm going to be stalking it down. Tuck the bishop. Take the bishop. Take the pawn. Uh, so I think this should be okay now. Let's see. So bring the knight around and start. Because the bishop's there at the minute. Ooh, is it forking me? No, 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 no. It's probably just going to push down, actually, not take. It's tucking the bishop. Bishop's got space to move. Which means that they can take the pawn, but we can always. We can't do that. Mm-hmm. Take. Takes the bishop. Can't take the pawn in any way, shape. No, not at all. No bishop attack. Attack the bishop. Still takes our bishop. So it looks like we're losing a pawn from that position. Sneak here, sneak there with a check. Oh, it's not continuing that way. Let's take. 
and take. And tap the queen with a lesser piece, takes the pawn, tap the queen. And let's move the king out of the way. This looks like a bit of showboating on the opponent's part. And I'm, I'm hoping that they pay the price for showboating. Let's put a check on the king here. It's lucky they've got this damn knight there, though, I'll tell you. It's lucky. What is this? This is white square bishop. <laughs> Let's attack. The queen, obviously, is going to take. So they're plus one after all of that. So he's wanting to get rid of our bishop. So we want to get rid of his rook. If his knight takes, we take his rook. Knight takes, pawn takes the knight. Okay, happy with that. Or he takes in whichever way. Oh, he does take. So he's got pawns galore. Does it improve his position? We do have a white square bishop and a dark square bishop. I think this might might work in our favour. If we go here, he's just going to come back again and attack the pawn. Let's go here. Two bishops versus two knights and they've got plus two on the pawns. Let's, ooh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, whichever. The night saving the day. Yes, the night saving the day. What do we have? We must have something, maybe king moving across. Don't really want to get the king involved when there's knights all over the place. Anything else that the bishops can do? Bishop can attack this pawn. Just moves it down, doesn't it? Come on, bishops. They're always harping on about the two bishops are better than... Ooh, two bishops are better than the knights. Can't actually take that, so I don't know why I'm going... Ooh. 